Okay, this is uh, Taisu again and Spencer Hunt. Midnight. Again from window seat. Nice. Nice seat for some uh, lo fi. <sighs> It's like one of those uh, podcasts. You start out and he's like, I'm not going to bust rhymes, but I'm going to tell you my story. And I'm like, all right, let's hear it, man. He wrote it in a book. It's called Moonwalking with Einstein. It's a great book, man. I'd recommend it to anybody. It's probably in the show notes, man. But anyway, let me just tell you about this guy anyway, man. So he sees this memory championship in New York City, man. And obviously he works for the New York Times, so he's chilling there. And he says, oh, I'll sign up for that. And in one year, he beats the thing, becomes the best memory man in the entire world writes a book about how he did it he's just a funny chill little guy he like lived in his parents basement and put on this stuff like why i'm like dude he's cool yeah joshua foer great book and then plato says hey man i got this defense and i don't know what to say so i'll write a script and then i'll throw it away man because all my thing is saying is just i don't know man and everybody says i know something but he says huh if I say that you don't know and you say that you do know, is my saying that you don't know some heretical info? And he's like, no, because I know. And he says, well, I don't. And he says, well, I'm throwing you in jail. And you say, okay, bro. But if you want to throw me in jail, if it so pleases you, then do that. If you want to execute me, all right, by all means, go ahead. But if you don't want to, then please leave me in peace. It's like Socrates. It's like a cat with like six toes in Miami Beach, like one of those polydactyl things that Ernest Hemingway had. And he looks at me and he says, huh, that's rad. And then I say, cow, I blink with Socrates. He rolls with me. And then I see him. I want Socrates right inside of me, in my heart, in my chest. Socrates breathes out, man. 